everyone welcome back to my channel now today I've got a little mini haul video for you it was going to work out as what I bought in the um, Boxing Day sales but we left it a little bit late and we ended up going out shopping I would probably say two three days after Boxing Day and if I'm honest there wasn't that much out there that I really liked the look of I only picked one thing up in the am I going to focus so I only managed to pick up one thing in the Boxing Day sale. There just wasn't that much out there so I thought there's no point wasting my money on something that I don't really need. I'm picking something up that I do quite like the look of which am in the sale and you know, it's shopping after all. And it means these things are still available so if you like the look of them then it's not too late to be able to go out there and spend some of your Christmas money if you have any left over that is. Or just a little pick me up as we head into January. Um, so I visited a number of different places. So I've got oh, I can. We've got all these bags here. So I'm going to go through these with you. Um, now the first place I went into, I'm not actually going to show you what I picked up, um, but I went into the pink. Um, which is part of Victoria's Secret, just to pick up some more underwear, but I'm not the type of person that wants to, you know, flash around their uh, pants on camera. Um, so yeah, I picked up the ones that are under the 5 for £25 ones. They are fab, and they are the... I can't remember which one mine are, but um, they're the only ones that I found comfortable at the moment from Victoria's Secret, well, from Pink. So yeah, I picked up five pairs of them so I can throw away some old pants now. Um, and on something I'm much more happier to talk about. Um, and I, where shall I start first? I mean, I picked up more things from Topshop, but I feel like I need to start there. Um, so in Topshop, I had originally seen a skirt in there that I really liked. Um, and they didn't have one in my local one. I actually went to Medwell to do my shopping and we thought, you know, three, four days after Christmas, it's going to be fairly quiet and boy, were we wrong. It was horrendous. So we um, powered through for about two, three hours. I mean, it was longer than we expected because of all the queues. Um, but anyway, and my addiction to trying on clothes, so... Yeah, um, we went into Topshop first because it was top I saw and um, as I said, I saw a woman returning it to my local Topshop but she'd made an online order and my local store didn't have one. So it is this paper bag style um, grey, um, it's like a tweedy check and it's got this cute little um, bow detail in here. Um, I just think this is really, really cute. I can wear it for work. I can wear it during the day. Um, I just think this is really nice. You can um, tuck like a nice little knitted um, black jumper in there. Even this pink jumper would go quite nice. Now, they didn't have my size in, so I was going for a 12. And unfortunately, they didn't have one in. And the woman said, why don't you try a 10? Because they don't have any like zips or buttons to fasten up. And it's quite a stretchy fabric. And to be fair, it is. And it fits quite nice it fits neater than what I would have liked to so I'm going to try it on at home with a few um, jumpers to see how I feel in it and um, whether I want to size up or not and if I do I'll just add one online and just wait for it to come in January now um, but I got it in a size 10 and I just love like it's not an over the top paper bag style which I quite like because this kind of um, accentuates my problem area which is my stomach so I don't want to go OTT um, and this skirt was only £22 and I just think it is really cute it's quite a short one but with um, some thick black tights and some ankle boots it will look really cute and then when I was in Wakefield before I, I noticed these um, pyjamas and I was like Do you know what I'm not going to rush into buying them I'm going to look around see if there's anything else that I like in the shop because I have a habit of spending all of my Christmas money on Boxing Day and I'd only nipped in after work to have a coffee with my mum so I was like I'm not going to rush into it but I need a new pyjamas I know I've got a couple of pairs for Christmas but I just need to replace some of mine that I've got at home now so I can throw them in the bin and I thought I've got to get them so I got them from Topshop and they are the shirt style so they're a long sleeve detailing and um, it does come up a little bit cropped and it's got the cutest little pocket detailing on I mean it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland and it's a little bunny I don't know if you can see that and 
it is so cute so it's one little bunny and then some flowers at either side and I just love how cute it is and it is a um, light blue dark blue um, and then it's got um, really thin um, pink and white stripes in there so I just think this is really really cute it was the bunny that sold me because this is not normally a style of pyjama that I would go for and then the bottoms again really cute they've got that horrible hanger straps on there um, and then they're just these little shorts again with the flowering detail around the, around, along the edges of the leg and it's just a frill detail in here and then on the back they've just got one little pocket and it's an elasticated waist with um, does that pull in? yeah it pulls in with a drawstring here so i just think these are really cute i picked them up in a um 12 and those were 32 pounds so again not in the sale but you can still get them and i just think it might be a little bit cold um at this moment in time but when the weather does him warm up a little bit then these will be really cute to wear i mean you don't even have to wear them together he could mix and max bit mix and match if you wanted to man can't get my words out today and then the final thing I picked up in Topshop, now it was one of those things where um, I saw it, it just says I came out of the changing rooms and I was like, I need that in my life. That is what is missing from my wardrobe. And I am a lover of shirts, as you will know, more of the blouses, but um, I'm obsessed with my denim shirt, which is from Topshop had it for a couple of years now and it is a really light blue denim and I noticed a very similar one in a black denim and I just really love this this is smaller fitting than my blue one I think my blue one is a little bit more oversized and it's a bigger size than I would usually go for but I picked this up in a size 12 and it is the um, Prestud fastening and it's like quite a cute little um, white shine to the Prestud which makes it a little bit more girly so um, it's slightly fitted um, and it goes down to just about my hips and then it is long sleeves but obviously they've um, been rolled up and I just think it is really really cute and it's just got a bit of a v-shaped detailing down um, the top bit at the back it's just really plain and simple and then at the front you've got the two pockets are they actual pockets? yeah again with press studs and their actual pockets and this was um, £30 which I don't think is too bad for Primark especially being a denim because their denim their denim range can be quite expensive so yeah I really like this and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it and I think it'll look cute teamed with um, a little skirt you could go double denim so yeah I'm going to give it a go of styling that up and then we will move on to Zara and I've been wanting a pair of these for some time now and I've seen so many people wearing the trousers with like a contrasting stripe down the side and I just thought you know what I am not going to be brave enough to wear that and the trousers always seem that little bit baggy and it's just not my kind of style I don't like a baggy trouser on my leg just because I feel like it makes me look wider than what I am so these are leggings and these are from Zara and they are a really nice thick fabric and they're elasticated around the top and they just slip on and they're really nice and then they go full length they just cut off at my ankle which is a fab and then on the side they've got a wide a wide red with two um narrow white stripes down the side and i just think these are really cute they're quite a spot vibe look and i just think they would work really well potentially teaming it up with this if, but this is a bit more of a grey wash black than these um, and I just think this would look really cute with maybe a little pair of heels or some ankle boots maybe even converse and a nice like oversized white shirt I just think they're really easy to wear I hope and I hope this stripe down the side don't make my legs look slightly bigger than what they are um, so these were in the TRF collection now they weren't in the sale and Zara is a bit of a bomb site when it comes to sales and stuff is all over the place um, and I just came across the one pair of these and I got them in a large and they were £19.99 they did have other colours too I think once the sale goes they'll bring these back in so yeah I'm excited to I've got covered in dog hairs <laughs> apologies for that but I'm excited to style these up 
I'm wanting to be a little bit brave, we're going on to 2018. And then on to Kath Kidson and my mum um, got me a voucher for there so I wanted to um, pop in to have a look to see what they had got. Um, this was my only sale find, saying that I'll show you something which was quite a bargain um, but this was um, a really good sale find. Now I know I got a bag for Christmas but it's a little red bag and I love that and it gives a great pop of colour and it'll go well with these trousers um, but it won't go with everything so I thought well let's have a little contrast and if it isn't red then it has to be pink and it would go I mean it's a different colour pink than this but once I've got a jacket over the top of this this bag would work quite well and it's a slightly bigger one um, this is, I don't know whether it's um, an a full leather bag or if it's a faux leather um, but yes I really love this and it's got the typical Kath Kidson fabric on the inside so remove the packaging and then it comes with like this um, strap detail in here so you've got the contrast of the cream now I'm not a fan of this strap if I'm honest I would have preferred it to be in the same leather as the pink but I've seen this bag before and I've loved it and it was down from £50 to 30 and I didn't need to put any money towards it and I thought, do you know what, I didn't see anything that I wanted in there. I was tempted to get pyjamas but I've already got three pairs this Christmas so I thought, no, let's go for something a little bit different and I thought, the only thing put me off about this bag is the strap and I looked at myself in the mirror who does this when they buy a new bag they kind of style up with their outfit they're wearing today and um, see what they think and I was like you know what I actually really like this so it has this flap at the front and it's got like a little magnet in so it just um, clips together like that and then inside it's fairly large size so I can fit quite a bit in here um, and there's a little um, zip up pocket at the back and then on this side there is a little um, pocket here which I could put like maybe my phone in um, if I don't want to keep having to open it up and then that is against um, my side so no one would really know it was in there um, and you can make the strap longer or shorter if you want so you can just have it over one shoulder or you can have it as a, um, a over, cross, over the body cross bag. Um, so yeah I thought this was really cute and I've not had a bag in this colour before and I just think it was really lovely and it's not overly obvious that it's Kath Kidson like I'm not one to having a big label on the front so it's just kind of like um, within the leather itself and I just think this is really cute um, and it looks a lot more expensive than where it was I thought this was a lot pricier than £50 could have been a different bag that I saw in there but I do remember seeing this about a year or so ago and I just thought it was really cute so yeah I picked this up in the sale and then finally what isn't a haul if you haven't paid a visit to Lush um, these I didn't pick them up at Medwell I picked them up on Boxing Day when I went into town with my mum um, and I forget that every year just after Christmas my hair is a mess so I do apologise um, every year after Christmas um, Lush always put on their Christmas products at half price so it's like 50% off so I think that's pretty amazing I mean there's not that many products in here they just ran out of small bags um, so I picked up three products from Lush because I happened to have got um, a couple of products over Christmas so I didn't want to go too over the top but for these products like they should have come to um, well they should have come to like £14 something um, and I got all three products for like £7.23 so the first thing I picked up was the Man in the Moon and it is a bubble bar and I just think how cute is this um, I just think it is it's really cool is this I, I don't know whether this is a new one for this year um, it smells very it's a very sweet one it reminds me of like fizzy sweets um, they don't have labels on so I couldn't tell you what ingredients they have in there um, the little moustache is broken off a little bit on this side but yeah I picked up Man in the Moon and it should have been £5.95 and obviously get like 50% off on that price um, I much prefer bubble bars than um, bath bombs just because I love the bubbles rather than being able to see myself in the water 
And the next thing I picked up, another bubble bath, and it is the snowman. Look how cute this is. Um, no idea what flavour scent it is. Oh, this is more of a strong perfumed one. I do have a cold, so I have a bit of a blocked nose, but I can definitely smell this. Um, I'm getting more of an orangey scent from this. Not sure if that's correct. I could be making this completely up. Um, but just look how cute he is. And I reckon you could get a couple of uses out of this. And this should have been £4.25. So again, 50% um, off that, which is fab. And then the final product I got, this is really gutty, so it's going to go a long way. So I don't think this is part of the Christmas range. I think this is more of the um, autumnal um, going into um, Halloween-y um, style. And it is this um, gold sparkly pumpkin. Um, oh. It's more of a muted perfume smell. I'm not really, I've probably got glitter on my nose now. I'm not sure um, what scent this is, but it's a lot more of a muted vibe. It's nowhere near as strong as the snowman one. Again, I'm just getting glitter all over my face. This is going to be fun. Um, so yeah, again, this is another bubble bath. So you could get probably two to three uses out of this one. Um, I'm going to it away because now my hands are covered in glitter. And this should have been £4.25, so again, 50% off that. Um, and I still believe there is stuff still available um, at Lush with 50% with off. They had so many things in it, and even like the little um, the little gift sets that they'd got too in the really lovely packaging. Um, a lot of them was half price. So yeah, this is everything that I picked up in my non-sale Boxing Day sales video. Um, so it's really good that you could probably still get most of these items now, which is fab. I hope you all had a really lovely Christmas um, and a Happy New Year. And I hope 2018 brings you the best year yet. Um, if you've done a What I Got in the Boxing Day sales video, link it um, in the comments below. I love these videos um, just because I love to know see what people have got. Um, I have done a What I Got for Christmas video. I'll link it in the description box below. If you like watching them, then pop on over and give it a watch to see what I got. Um, but yeah, that's everything for today. I um, hope you have a lovely rest of the day and I will see you next week. Bye!